Hey everybody, John Peterson from John Peterson Photo here with a quick tip on Luminar 3 and how to export your images from Luminar 3. And uh, it's real simple, real easy, very intuitive. Pretty much no matter where you are in the application, you can export an image. Right now I'm in the edit module, but I'll go back over to the library module and let's look at the grid view. The three ways that you can export an image are, number one, you can right click on an image and go to export, or you can come up to file, export, or with an image highlighted, you can come up to the share button up here and you can share it out for different specific purposes. For me, I tend to export images in, uh, in the way I want them to my desktop that I can then file and use as I choose in my different social media platforms. So when you want to export an image, right, again, right click, click export, this dialog box will pop up. You can give it a new name if you want. You can put tags on it if you want. Here you can specify where you want the file exported to, the location. You can choose whether or not to have Luminar 3 sharpen on the output or not. You can choose to resize the image. You can leave it in the original, um, original size or you can size the long edge or the short edge or if you have specific dimensions, you can export that. So long edge, let's say I want to export 2000 pixels on the long edge, regardless of whether it's a portrait or landscape orientation. The next thing that you can choose is the color space. sRGB, of course, is the, uh, is the most accepted and best color space for the web. But you can also export in Adobe RGB and Profoto RGB. So both of those are really handy if you're going to be using a different application, an external editor for some reason. Um, but I don't generally export to go into Photoshop. I'll usually open in Photoshop from Luminar. So um, most of my exports are in sRGB. Here you can choose the format. So JPEG, PNG, TIFF, Photoshop, PDF. Um, most of the exporting I do out of Luminar is uh, to be shared in my social media. So that would be JPEGs that I will export in. And then lastly, what quality you want. Of course, quality will drive the, uh, the image size from a, from a kilobyte or megabyte perspective. I choose to always keep things at 100%. Um, just because I want the best quality as possible. So the minute you get done making all your selections, you hit the save button, the application does its business, and that file will be on your desktop. So there's a quick tip, Luminar 3, how to export an image. If you want more information or other handy videos, check out my YouTube channel. If you want to check out my website and uh, photo workshop options that I have listed, uh, that's uh, www.johnpetersonphoto.com. Hope you guys have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.